everybody welcome once again to my channel and today I get to explain to you how the farming snail farming spreadsheet works okay so this is a typical example of how the whole thing looked like so you have the records of breeding stock then let's let's look at the breeding stock so with the breeding stock you have probably if you have more than one parent stock where you enter the breeding stock so the date of stocking that's the date the number of snails stock as breeding stock okay so maybe you bought 100 of them for breeding then as you keep raising them the mortality records you keep recording the mortalities and the days all right so this is just it for the breeding stock the same thing applies to the second the third and the fourth okay so now we go to this is strictly for the production so as at when they start laying eggs and they start hatching this is where you you keep your records okay so uh, the date of hatch is here then let's 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 put in a date to see how it works so on the 23rd of april 2024 they, they were hatched and let me change this to 2024 so the date of transfer late maybe after a month you transfer them let me just use two months to make it a bit more feasible so on the 6th on the 4th of june 2024 is when you transfer them so the number of snails you counted i have it here as four four five seven whatever the number is you have to enter then you have a current date for them so let's assume this date changes to let's say 20th so you have it here you see the date has changed all right so that's how it works so the age is also automatically calculated then you have your mortality records the date and all that then probably if you do weighing when you do if you do weighing then you're gonna have to be entering the the, the, the date of weighing and then the average weight you got to monitor their growth Okay, the same thing applies for the second batch, third batch, and what have you. Then now we come to the financial record. I think this is one of the most active aspects of the whole thing. So, financial records. Then we have income expenditure, finance ta table chart, and then we have the dashboard. So the income and expenditure side, I've already entered some records for demonstration purpose. So these are all kind of records that I've already inserted. Now... This is where people get confused. The income category. You can have different income category for your farm. So in this case, we have snails, snails. And probably if you sell their shells, that's another source of income out of the snails, like a value chain something. Maybe you sell cooked snails. I don't know, like grilled snails, roasted snails, whatever it is. You just, can just insert them. Let them be unique. All right, because you will need them in the dashboard. So here you have the quantity and then the unit price. Then here is already calculated for you. You don't need to enter. If you wish to enter, that is up to you. But it is there. Then we have the expense category, right? So maybe whatever you are buying, under what category does it fall? Is it medication, fuel, groceries, feed, tools and equipment, others, agrochemicals, feed, whatever it is. You still need to enter the category before you come and enter the particulars. And the particulars is the details of the expenditure. Then we have the quantity, the unit price, and of course the amount. Okay, so this is just as simple as, as, as it is. Then from here you go to click here for income expenditure chart. So here is the summary of whatever is going on. So in this case... You have the sum of income, which is the total income you've made. It has categorized it into years. But you can break this down to see. Um, uh, I'm coming. Let me turn this off. So when you see this, you can see the various months. Right? Let's say you have different records for the different months. Once it's recorded here, it will definitely reflect here. So in 2022, I have only one record for June. All right, so in 2023, we have the June, July. Okay, so you can always collapse this to find out the breakdown of the income you've got month by month 
based on the years right then you have here also a similar thing for the expenditure so let's say 2022 let's break it down okay you only have a record for june and then also we still have a record for only june and july so basically this is just a summary you don't need to enter anything all you need to do is right click anywhere inside the table to refresh it to keep the table updated and then if you have any problem you can call me if you need any assistance that's for those who were able to get a copy I always always welcome to reach out to me for further explanation right so this is it then we have this side comparing this side being the sum of profit or loss checkup for each year or each month so again when you check for this you can see the profit or loss checker for each month and each year so when we collapse that of the 2023 you can see the difference here when it's in the negative you you see it indicating the negative sign all right so that's the income um, the profit or loss checker then here you have a summary of your income by category you want to look at which um which category of income is higher like which i don't know yeah like you should know when do i get most of my money from or wh wh which one is my stronghold i can see there's a little mistake here now shells and shells one has just one l and it's because of a mistake probably here so let's go through i can see this is the mistake so you can see that the category if you don't spell them well, well it can make a difference so you need to spell them well and then when you come here a typical example of what i wanted to show you about the updating the table so here you right click inside it and you choose this refresh so you can see that shells has gone off so you can see that okay so i've so far i've made fifteen thousand two hundred sixty cities out of selling the snails and then 6260 out of selling shells alone so that is it for the income category then you come here also um, indicating the ink um, expense category for each category like how much you spend for each category of expenses so it helps you to know hey why am i spending too much where do i need to lower down the expenses is this thing going too high is this thing going too low it helps you to know where you are spending the most right so basically that is it then we have the chat or the dashboard okay when you come here this is the dashboard so this one just gives you um a pictorial or a graphical presentation of what is happening so when you look at this at a glance you can see you are making more sales from selling the snails than selling the shells then over here you can see that where you spent most of your money is on medication and drugs so the the pie chart shows you yeah so you can see medication and drugs is 44 percent then the feed is 25 groceries is 22 percent now this is not a, a, a correct data so you cannot rely on it so once you enter yours everything everything will be displayed here then also we have a graph presenting your income expenditure for the year there's a graph showing you the income expense and the profit and loss it's the same thing as that table over there okay so this quickly helps you let me see if i can choose a different format or a different design to show you the exact um <clears throat> i wanted to show the labels of the of the different graphs there should be something like that i'm coming let me see this 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 you can also always play around it i mean this is not limited to what i have put in here all right so sometimes you can just go through it and then see which one so i don't find anything that is supposed to show the profit the loss but here is the chart here is we all did graph in school so here is the color chart so you know that blue is for expenses um the orange is for income and then the profit is for this now you can even decide to change the colors yourself 
all right so let's say um you want expenses to be red once you come this is a bit complicated i'm just adding it as a bonus when you come you can change the color you go to format then shape fill and change the color to let's say red then let's say income being green the same place format shape fill then you can change it to green then profit and loss i don't know which color you would like to choose let's choose yellow for demonstration purpose so this helps you to know that okay so this is what i have okay for the income and what have you let me change this back to black i like the black okay this is just showing how i'm able to manipulate let's change it back to what we what we decided on the red the green and then the yellow great so let's say you want the figures to show okay this is actually kind of like a bonus <laughs> you want the figures to show so what you do is come to design then sorry quick layout so you 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 go through this and this i saw something okay so something like this you can choose it to be like this uh you can also choose this i personally don't like this or this or this or that or this or this or that i think i found one that i liked uh was it this one is kind of cool so yes so that is it this one just shows you a quick review 2022 2023 and the list goes on all right so basically that is it you might want to get your own copy and then play with it it's just 100 cities it's just 100 cities so get a copy and all for those outside because of how the dollar fluctuates we've put it on 15 dollars because a uh, few transfer charges and all that so if you want a copy go to my description reach reach out to me on whatsapp any day anytime and i'll be available to respond to you thank you very much and have a nice day